when I look back, I realized that the main thing that was keeping me from at least trying to get into tech, it was me. If you're anything like me and you think about getting into tech, you probably think about all the reasons why you can't make it. I'm not smart enough. I don't have enough time. It's hard. I'm not saying that we don't have valid reasons for not doing something. What I am saying is I think we should examine our reasons to determine if they're valid. Take, for instance, I'm not smart enough. What is EC2? That seems like a valid reason, but if you think about it, everything that you know now, at one point you didn't know. But really it just boils down to whether or not you're gonna take the time to learn. Time, this finite resource which so easily slips through my grasp with every tick of the clock's hands like life's auto drafts. Yeah, time is gonna pass regardless. The only control we have is what we do, which leads to the last reason, it's hard. And to that, I would say, yeah, it's hard memorizing terms. It's hard learning new concepts. It's hard stepping out of your comfort zone. But I think what's even harder is feeling stuck in the same place with no potential for growth because you're afraid to take a step forward. One of the best things I did when I was thinking about transitioning into tech was to get into the practice of doing hard things. That it seems super simple, but if you only do the things that you feel like doing when you feel like doing them, it makes it that much more difficult to do anything that you don't feel like doing. Now I never walk into a situation thinking that I can't learn something. I just know that it's going to take time. And it's going to take hard work. But I can do that now. I think the payoff of knowing how to do things that I once didn't know how to do is worth it. So, so 